Hello everyone. Uh, in this new tutorial, I'll show you how to use car layout. And car layout is used when uh, two or more components are supposed to share same display space. So basically, imagine a situation where you have a lot of different workspaces. And when it comes to Java, some inexperienced programmer will use multiple J frames, which uh, is a very bad idea and which will cause very user-unfriendly user interface. Some more experienced programmer will use, for example, JTAB pane, which is a good idea, but in case if you don't have so many of workspaces. So in case of having a lot of workspaces, best practice will be to use car layout. And using car layout, you can switch between different workspaces. And in most cases, uh, so this uh, layout is set on JTAG. Okay, I already created my new class, C layout with main method. And also, I'm going to create a J frame. Also, I'll import J frame. And title will be like hard. Or layout demo I'll create three J panels first J panel will be container for other two and the name of that panel will be like panel cont okay um, I'll import J panel uh, second second and third J panel will represent our workspaces and it will be like panel J panel will be like panel first and third J panel will be like panel second also I'm going to create uh, two J buttons so I can switch between of these uh, workspace J panels, panel first and panel second. And I'll name my button button one. And text will be like switch to second panel or workspace. Second button, and text will be like switch to first panel or workspace. Okay, and also I'm going to create a new instance of my car layout class. And I'll name it like CL. And also I'm going to import my car layout from Java Lot. And that should be it. Let's uh, generate constructor now. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'll set car layout from my panel container. And I'll say panel cont, and I'll call set layout method, and I'll pass CL instance here. Also, I will add these buttons on panel first and panel second. Button one. Let me space panel second button second okay next thing I, I'm going to do I'll color these panels a bit I'll set background to color like blue and for second panel I'll set background to, to green color so you can see better what 
what's going on. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'll add my first panel and second panel on my container panel according to card layout. I'll pass panel first and also beside of that I'll pass so-called uh, identifier string and that will be for example one. You can pass whatever you want. Panel second and identifier string will be like two. And also I'm going to call show method from my CL instance. Uh, this will determine which of these panels will be displayed on startup of my application. And first argument I, I have to pass is a, a container, parent container basically, where our car layout is set and that's uh, panel count. And second argument is uh, identifier string. And for example, on the startup of my application, I want to show panel first. Okay, that's it. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'll add action listeners on my button one and button second, so I can switch between these panels. Okay. And here in action listener, I'll say CL dot show uh, parent will be panel count and basically when I click on this button one I'll switch to panel second and I'll pass here this identifier as two and also I'll add this action listener on button second This is going to be second. So when I click on this button second, I'll switch to panel first. Okay, that should be it. Now let's uh, let's add our panel container on JFrame. And let's call set the focus operation method. And this goes on close. Path method. And finally, set visible method. Okay, that should be it. Let's uh, run this to see what we have. And here it is, as you can see. First panel, panel first, is displayed on startup of our application with its color to blue, as you can see here, and uh, it has this button one set. And when I click on this button, I'll switch to panel second. And as you can see, we switch to panel second. And if I show on this button here, which says switch to first panel or workspace, I'll return to my panel first. And uh, that should be it for this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.